Hello everyone, I'm Colin Cadet. Hey, we're going to have some fun today because we're going to do some milling on some of those logs that I got. So, but have a look at this first of all. Look, look at all of the logs that I have. Let me show you what's here and what we're going to do. So here's some of the woods that I've got and I've collected obviously a little bit more. So these two woods, they're from the same one that you saw me going with my bicycle. Those are broadleaf maple. My brother-in-law, Steve, thanks Steve, brought me over this spalted alder. Look at the beautiful spalting on that. I can't wait to cut into that one. Um, here's another couple of uh, logs from the same log, uh, and they're a mystery wood. I'm not entirely sure what they are. They could be broadleaf maple, I don't know. And this is something called Arbutus or Madrona. It's a very, very hard wood. And I don't know if there's spalting in it, but it looks like there's some figure in these woods anyway, so hopefully we'll get around to doing these. But I'm going to start off with this one today, and we're going to dig into that one and do some cutting. Okay, I've installed a new blade. I just plugged the bandsaw in. Uh, I've installed this wood here, so it's stuck on my jig right now. It's all set up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this piece off right here. Then I can flip that up. So this will be on the back. And then we'll start peeling a few logs or a few boards off the front here. Okay, I just undid those two screws. Let's have a quick look at what's in there. Well, there's a little bit of spalting. There's some, there's some figure in there anyway. That looks good. Now what I want to do, now that I've got a nice flat bottom and a flat side, because I already I flattened this out earlier just to save us a little bit of time, now I'm going to fasten this back on here and I'm going to be able to set this up so that I cut exact size boards. Now with all of these logs that I cut, I'm only going to cut a few representatives. Now this, this log here, what I plan to do with this is make some boxes from this log so I know already the size that I'm going to cut on that one. The other logs, I don't know, I might use them for veneers, I haven't decided yet. So most of the logs are just going to sit and slowly dry uh, and in the meantime we'll cut some of these so that we can see what's in there because I'd like to know. So that's all I'm going to cut off the big leaf maple that I've just done. You've seen me do three or four slices of. Now this is the spalted alder. I'm, I want to do this one because it really looks pretty. So we're going to take this one. So I'm going to take a slice off here uh, and then I'll take another slice off this side here so that we'll be able to square it up. But we'll get a big, we'll get a, a good look to see what's here even on the first cut. So let's do that. This is just gorgeous wood. You know what? I don't want to cut any more of this off because I don't know what I want to do with it. So I'm not going to take slices because I may want to cut veneers and there's really not much here for veneer anyway. This will continue to dry. I've end sealed it so it'll dry nicely even with this slice off it. Uh, but what I might do, I might just put that back on there um, just to help reduce any cracking on that. But that is just gorgeous wood. So Okay, so this cut is the mystery wood. So we're going to see what that, maybe we'll be able to tell what that is once it's cut. Well, 
Wow, look at that wood. That is just gorgeous. Uh, there's another, you know, and I still don't know what this is. Um, I, it, I'm going to have to, it's very, very wet. I can tell you that. Uh, I think I'm going to have to wait for it to dry out a bit more, but um, that is just beautiful wood. So, you know what, this is another one I'm not going to cut any more on because I don't know what I want to do with it. So um, I've just got one more to try. So let's have a look at that one. Okay, and here is the last one for today. This is the Arbutus or Madrona, uh, and this stuff is super hard, so I'm going to have to go really slow with this one, I think. There's a quick look at that, uh, and if it looks blotchy, those are actually wormholes, some kind of a little wood bug that's in there. Uh, and this wood that I'm cutting only looks like it's on one side, which is why I cut that side, because I can now put this on the bottom or the back, and you can see um, all the, the wormholes here. But there was, they were only on one side, so I think when I get around to the other side, but you know what? Um, again, this is a wood that I, I really like the texture of. It, there's a little bit of spalting in it, which I'm surprised at, but I don't want to cut it up right now because, again, I don't know what I want to do with it yet. Um, so I'm just going to leave it with the one cut because now I've got to look at what it looks like inside and I can start making some decisions. So let's line these all up on the workbench so you can have a better look at these. So here's a look back at all of the woods we cut, starting from the last one. And this was the Madrona or Arbutus. Um, and it has a nice fine grain to it. Now, from where you're at, you'll be able to see pictures on Woodwork Web later on, some detailed pictures. Uh, but there is some nice fine detail. So this was probably more something for like a box or something, because it would be something close up that you would be looking at. Um, but still there's something there. Um, the wormholes I don't have to worry about because when I cut this if I find I think all the worms are dead in here it looks like this has been around a long time uh, but what I'll probably do is put these after it's all dry I'll put these in the oven my oven for about at about 150 degrees for a couple of hours and that will make sure that it kills everything so uh, I don't worry about worms in small pieces of wood like this this was the second to last one this was the uh, Arbutus, sorry, the um, alder. Uh, this was from my brother-in-law, Steve. Thanks again, Steve. This is just gorgeous wood, uh, and I don't want to cut any more of it because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it yet, and I need to go <laughs> and talk to Steve and see if he's got any more because this is just beautiful wood, easy to work with. Uh, I just love this kind of wood. I use that uh, whenever I get a chance. Beautiful. The mystery wood, which was the second wood that I cut, and as I'm looking at it, if you look at it, you'll notice there's styrations in the, in the wood from the bandsaw blade. So that this lid that I cut off here, I took to my jointer and I planed it a couple of times or jointed it a couple of times. And you can see how much smoother it is. And when I look at it now, I'm pretty sure that this is cedar, red cedar, uh, and I've never seen it quite like this before, so I've never seen spalted cedar, and I think that's what this is, So, uh, but this is pretty neat, and I know there's more of this too, so I might go and get a couple more logs of this, because it's pretty, uh, very pretty wood. And of course, the first one or the, the, that I cut was the big leaf maple. I know it's big leaf maple, because uh, I could tell from the outside, I can tell from the grain, and you know what, it's not, it's not real pretty as it turns out, and maple often doesn't have a lot of things going on with it unless it's figured or something, uh, and this is like that. On the outside, right near the, where the bark was, there's a little bit of, you can see a little bit of, of uh, spalting around there, but it's still minor. But what's neat with these woods is that you can do book matching. So for this one, I think I'm going to do, there is a little bit of figure in it, and I think what I'm going to do is do some book matching and maybe make some boxes or a box or two with this. Uh, and it's got, there, there is some figure in it, but it's very fine. So again, it's something you'd be wanting to pick up and hold and look at so that you could actually see what the figure of the wood is. But, uh, and of course, before you use any of this wood, you need to make sure that the moisture content is somewhere around 10% at least. And 
right now it's at <laughs> 29% so it's got a long way to go to dry before we can really use it so we'll wait around for that to dry and we'll check it in a few weeks. You know, I just love doing this milling stuff. It's like opening a present. You never really know what's going to be in it. And uh, we had a look inside all of these today. Some of them were a surprise. Had some gorgeous wood in some of them. Other, some of them were a little disappointing. Um, but you know what? You still get some good use out of all of them. And that concludes my video for today. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.